DeepSeek V3 has surprised the AI world. Not only is it an open source model that destroys Meta's Llama, it matches the closed source ones of ChatGPT and Claude. Actually, it beats GPT-40 on most benchmarks at a fraction of the cost. The pressure is on. So what is it? How can you use it today? And how is it ranking in the benchmarks? Spoiler alert, really well. Let's start out with who are DeepSeek. DeepSeek is a Chinese AI company which releases its models open source just as Meta does. So far, DeepSeek is focused only on research, not commercialization. They released their first model, DeepSeek Coder, to the world in November 2023, and they've been slowly improving on it from there. This all changed in December, though, when DeepSeek V3 was trained and released. And since that's the one that everyone is astonished by, let's take a look. If you want to use it as a chatbot, using it is super easy and free at the moment. Just head over to chat.deepseek.com, sign in, and you can get asking it questions. Let's test it out on a super realistic problem though, Elite Code 1. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and we'll see if it passes. Pasting that problem in, we can see how it does. I'll copy its solution. There we go. No problem. Mum, Dad, I'm getting that job at Google. Really though, we'll see some real world code benchmarks later and the results are awesome. What if you want to use it in your own apps as well though? This is where they've done something really cool. You can actually just use the OpenAI SDK. All you have to do is literally take your existing OpenAI setup, change the base URL for that, the API key, and also the model, and you're good to go. Now, something funny about the prompt I just sent it, sometimes it will think it's ChatGPT. DeepSeek hasn't revealed much about its training data, but clearly the model might have seen some GPT outputs. Pricing wise is insane as well. On DeepSeek's platform, it costs 1.4 cents for a million input tokens and 28 cents for a million outputs. For reference, GPT-40 is $2.50 in and $10 out. Talking about pricing, DeepSeek actually trained V3 with 671 billion parameters using a cluster of just 2,000 NVIDIA H800 GPUs in only two months. Overall, that's only 2.8 million GPU hours and $5.6 million. For comparison, it took Meta 11 times more compute with 30.8 million GPU hours to train Llama 3, which is a 405 billion parameter model using a cluster of 16,000 H100 GPUs in the same amount of time. That's a whole lot more cash. Let's talk performance then. Now, just a heads up, benchmarks are great, but sometimes results vary a lot. There's a lot of benchmarks that test a lot of different things. I could probably make an hour long video going over all of them, but trust me, that would be a waste of your time. That being said, let's look at that own benchmarks. It comes second in MMLU Pro and GPQA Diamond, only just losing out to Claude Sonnet. These actually cover academic subjects like maths, philosophy, law, medicine, biology, physics, and chemistry. DeepSeek does excel at math though, rising far above the other models on Math 500 and AIME. Finally, the one that most of you will care about is coding. It beats the competition at Codeforce challenges and just loses out to Claude Sonnet again on SWE Bench. SWE Bench actually tests if LLMs can resolve real world GitHub issues. But remember though, this is the performance of an open model, which is insane. So do their own benchmarks line up with the independent ones though? Generally, yes, but it does have some weaknesses. In the Ada Polygot benchmark, this confirms its coding prowess. This benchmark tests if LLMs are good at editing code and it ranks DeepSeek V3 as second. Just behind O1, but surprisingly above Claude. Aiden Bench is where DeepSeek V3 struggles though. It ranks at 22nd. Aiden Bench actually measures the ability to create diverse outputs while retaining coherence, and DeepSeek V3 is bad at this. As I said, each benchmark measures something different, and DeepSeek's terrible output diversity really hurts it here. Essentially, its temperature is too low. Finally, in Chatbot Arena, it ranks an impressive seventh, slotting itself in the middle of the best proprietary models, which is super impressive. Overall, it seems that DeepSeek has the best price to performance of any model yet. If you're currently using GPT-40, you should probably switch. In fact, if you're using any LLM in your applications, it's worth a check due to this pricing alone. It could be a real money saver. There is one warning and problem I have seen. People on Reddit have raised concerns about the terms and conditions of DeepSeek.com. I'll leave this article linked below so you can make up your own mind. But the cool thing here though is since it's open source, you could technically self-host it. 
but more likely other reputable services will offer the hosting for you. But I do wonder if these services will increase that price, so keep your eye out for that. There we go, the AI race is showing no signs of slowing down and it's super cool to see some open models challenging the big players. Will you try it? Why? Why not? Let me know in the comments below and as always, see you in the next one.